There are certainly things I would have wished to sp uh, speak about more. I want to talk about millions of American children who go to schools where there aren't even enough adequate school supplies to teach a child to read, and how if a child cannot learn to read by the age of eight, chances of high school graduation are drastically diminished, chances of incarceration drastically increase. Millions of American children who live in such desperate and violent situations that I see this as a national humanitarian emergency and that we should be rescuing these children no differently than if they were uh, victims of a natural disaster, and how we need a massive realignment of resources in the direction. You know, if we really want to have peace and prosperity, they don't even use that term anymore because that's not what our political system is actually directly planning for anymore. Can you imagine the millions and even billions and trillions of dollars and unrealized potential that, that will be the reality of this country based on the fact that we're not taking the greatest power source. The greatest power source is not in the ground. The greatest power source is not in the wind. The greatest power source is not in the sun. It's in the human brain, particularly in our children. We, are, we know things now about the neuroplasticity, about cognitive retention in our little ones. We didn't even know before. That, this is a different kind of thinking. So I felt tonight, and I have great respect for all of the candidates. I think they're really wonderful people. But it's old think. It's old conversation. It's stuck in a very 20th century paradigm when we need to be talking about what we want. And it can't just be, I mean, the very fact we're so stuck on health care, and I certainly have my health care plan, and I believe in the Medicare option and all of that. But as I said tonight, we need to talk about why are so many of us so sick? We need to talk about the chemical, we need to talk about all the carcinogens, the known carcinogens in the pesticides that are being made so that chemical companies and companies like Monsanto are able to have their multi-billion dollar profits. We need to talk about things like the fact that there's lead in the water in Flint, Michigan. We need to talk about things like the fact that there are people in New Hampshire who have Teflon in their blood. And the Democrats are not talking. Of course, you can't blame the Democratic candidates. These were the questions that were brought up. You know, I would have a much deeper, I want to have a department of peace. We can't just endlessly prepare for war. You can't just keep preparing for war and then back up into peace. Uh, I, we, we have to build relationships. We have to give far more of our resources to humanitarian assistance, USAID. If, if you look in, in our State Department, when you actually look at the peace builders, the people who actually build international relationships and on the ground and post-trauma uh, healing, etc., they get less than a billion dollars. Whereas the, mili the, the military expenditure is $750 billion, and that should tell you everything you need to know. When you were talking about, about too many plans, was that a critique of Elizabeth Warren? No, I love Elizabeth Warren. I know it was about the whole conversation. No, I loved Elizabeth Warren, and I felt at that moment, I thought, oh, did that sound like a dig at Elizabeth Warren? Because I, I, I adore her. No, it's about the whole conversation we're having. We're missing the big picture. We're not talking about how we're going to inspire the American people. This is not, that's not an inspiring conversation. We've got our plan for this. We've got our plan for that. We also have to talk about our vision. We have to talk about new thinking. We have to talk about what our ultimate goal is for the 20th century, 21st. And even on health care, we need to talk about what it's going to take to make us well, what it's going to make to, to be healthy. That's why so much more in our, in our health care expenditures have to be about diet, have to be about exercise, have to be about preventative care, and we have to face all the things that are making us sick, like our, uh, our, our uh, chemical policies, our food policies, our, our, even our economic policies that cause so much stress, that underlies so much sickness. So if we're not going to have a conversation about what's making us all so sick, Really, at a certain point, just talking about what's going to make us well, it's that old thing. It's just talking sometimes. Thank you.